why am I saying that is it a trouble for USA or is it an innovation for Asia? Hello everyone, welcome to Plutus IAS. Guys, today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and which is the center of attraction and attention worldwide. So today we are going to talk about deep sea. So what is actually deep sea? So deep sea is an AI tool, AI app, just like your chat GPT. Okay. So if it is an AI tool, just like chat GPT, then what's the big issue? What's the big fuss about it? Why is it the matter of attention worldwide? See guys, what has happened is that China has developed an AI app just like chat GPT called Deep Sea. And if you have used chat GPT, you must be aware that in chat GPT, you can type questions, you can get various answers associated with various fields, everything, right? Same is the case with deep sea. But then why am I saying that is it a trouble for USA or is it an innovation for Asia? So understand guys, what actually happened is that if you remember the Sam Altman, hmm? the founder of Chat GPT, when he came to India, his statement was, he was actually smirking and he was saying that see Indians would not be able to develop something like chat GPT. India would not be able to develop AI tool. Why? Because he said it requires a lot of innovation, a lot of brains, many years of hard work put in into this innovation and it costs a lot. According to certain data, the cost of development of chat GPT was $250 billion and if we go with the words of Altman then it took more than a decade to develop something like chat GPT. But now let me fetch your attention towards this data. Deep sea, the cost of development is nearly $6 million. To be precise, $5.58 million, right? And it took two years to develop deep seek whereas to develop chat gpt it took more than 10 years more than a decade now see guys why is it such a challenge for us why it is something that is threatening us the reason being that us if we talk about the developed nations so just me just let me brief it out here. So developed nations, just like US, developed nations are very good in innovations. They are very good in technology. They are masters of it. Yeah, because developed nations are basically capital intensive nations and they manufacture capital intensive goods. Okay, and capital intensive goods they require a great deal of research and development. So developed nations, they are masters in research and development. They find a new ideas, they work on it, they do research on it, and then they develop a product. So they are good at innovations. Therefore, capital goods and technology is mostly done by the developed nations technological innovations, any new product, any new tool, any such thing, which is a capital good that is produced by developed nations. And since these nations produce such goods, they have got a sort of patent on it. That technology is very new. That is developed by their scientists. It is developed in their countries. So they have got upper hand and they control this technology for a certain period of time. You can take it as a sort of patent. They get sort of patent over this technology and they use it and they earn a lot. Okay. And it is something very new for rest of the world. And these developed nations, especially US, 
they have been dominating the area of technology of data of information technology IT for many many decades now then Altman said that this is not a child's play he was actually mocking or taunting the Indians but his target was not only India it was entire Asia it was all the developing countries that no this is something that developing nations cannot afford they do not have so many resources they do not have such resources to spare for R&D they do not have that much time or brains or ideas to develop such a tool and he said maybe he was bragging now what we understand is that might be Altman was bragging all along might be US has been doing the same thing all along we never know but now the same thing the same tool is being developed by our neighbor not a very good neighbor for us but it's still our neighbor we can't change that by China and China has done that thing in two years so what about those years of hard work that Altman was saying was put in the chat GPT the same thing can be done in two years two odd years a couple of years and look at the cost guys you'll be surprised to know chat gpt cost the cost of chat gpt 250 billion dollars to make chat gpt it was costing 250 billion dollars whereas to make deep sea the cost was only six million dollars that is fraction of chat gpt so this is a proof that developing countries can also do innovations in the field of data, in the field of technology. Developing countries can develop the latest technology that world has not seen, okay? And they can do it in a far less time and at a very less cost, cost effective as well as time effective. So it is a sort of leap because developing nations are regarded as the labor intensive nations but what this is showing this is a proof that developing nations are gradually leaping towards the capital intensive goods we have the capacity and caliber to develop capital intensive goods as well and this deep sea is the best example laid in front of the world okay and that's why if you go and listen to the latest speech of Trump related to Deep Sea. He is saying, I am quoting him, I am quoting him, he is saying that this is a warning alarm for our industries. And yes, really it is. Because for so long, US industries have been bragging, telling that they can only do the technological stuff. It's not the thing that we developing nations can afford or do. But now, things are changing the world is changing and this is a great inspiration and a push for India as well that if China can do it then we Indians can also do it so that's what the topic was I hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next video thank you